Hello, this is Uta and I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And Ken. Oh. Hi. <laughs> and here we are with a new video for you to learn how to make natural um, creams or skincare at home with one, two, three, four, five different ingredients. And today we are talking about horse tail. Did you ever hear that? It's also called shave grass. And in Germany, watch this. <laughs> Acker, Schachtel, Halm. This is such a crazy word. But horsetail has a um, high amount on silica content. Um, this promotes blood circulation and strengthens the tissue and improves elastic the elastic elasticity. <laughs> <laughs> we and our pronunciation. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, yeah, so the wrinkles getting out, and this is the name, I totally forgot the name of the cream. We call the cream Skin Tightening Cream with Horsetail. So in our age, right, Ken? <laughs> we would normally like to have the skin. I don't see wrinkles. <laughs> ah, what's that? <laughs> you see any wrinkles? I have wrinkles here everywhere. So, and yeah, with 25, so thousands of thousands of years ago, it was like this. So really nice and fresh and strong skin. And when you age, your skin is aging, but you can help your skin with our horsetail cream. Um, thanks to this, horsetail can help, as I said, reduce, yeah, that's a, that's a bad word, celery. I would say wrinkle or make your skin more elastic, right? Yes. Yeah. I think it's called. Of, yeah, but it sounds so. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Winter face. <bah! laughs> yeah, that would be one thing. So <laughs> there's silica in it. Silica has nothing to do with silicone. Oh, no, 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 no. no. That's what we got to be careful of. There's <laughs> no silicone in it. The silica is totally different. Yeah, horsetail has a high amount of silica. So, and this is helping to, yeah, get the. Uh, the skin like you look like 25-ish, <laughs> we wish. Um, and this herb, horsetail, um, as I said, can, oops, okay, <laughs> we didn't hear that. Uh, the herb also contains many other valuable ingredients such as flavonoids, saponies, vitamins. So, and this horsetail, Acker Schachtel Halm, if you want to repeat this, Acker Schachtel Halm. And the reason why we say Acker Schachtel Halm in Germany is because horsetail, and that's the same here, is mostly found on the field where it's a little bit moist, moist, yeah, wet. Watery, wet. Watery, yeah. moistery. And Acker Schachtel Halm, it's Acker is the field here, you would say a field, and then you feel, you can find the horsetail. So it's horsetail. Or as I said earlier, you can also call it a uh, shave grass yeah um so this plant horsetail was 1997 in germany um the best medical plant of the year so not here in the states but at home where i was born in germany it was a medical the best plant in the year of 97 so this is just a side note so we want to show you here before we are talking and talking and talking and you say, oh, we switch it off, that's too boring. <laughs> uh, we want to show you how you make your own anti-wrinkle, strengthening, make you younger cream <laughs> um, at home with just one, two, three, four, five ingredients. And my broiler is nearly there. So, what do you want to say? Now, oh, oh, oh. now don't forget, <laughs> if you make this at home, let us know how good it went. Let us know your experience. Maybe show something's us, missing. Or show Maybe. us pictures. Oh, well, that doesn't work on YouTube. You can't send a picture. Boy, but you can write us a message and everything. And that would be great. So if you know something else that you think we could put in it, let us check it out first. And then we'll go from there. Okay, now I'm losing my where I was. Yeah, the, <laughs> the ingredients. All right. So we have here 100 milliliter or 100, 100 gram horsetail oil what i was doing is this is horsetail and you you put it in oil olive oil and you let it sit you know this already for six weeks or even longer younger more <laughs> in a dark spot and on a daily basis, you greet your herb and shake it hello my dear and put it back right so this is the basic 100 milliliter or 100 gram 
from this horsetail oil. We put it in the broiler. And then we have 20 gram of cocoa butter in the broiler. After this, we have 10 gram of beeswax. I, I don't have to tell you everything is organic, right? <laughs> Just in case. So here we have 20 gram castor oil. And last but not least, we have 60 gram shea butter. I think I Googled it and it's, we say shea, but it's a different pronunciation. Nobody told us yet. So maybe you get used to our, or my sometimes um, strange or funny pronunciation. <laughs> Let us know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I can ask Google how to pronounce it and then I forget it. So when I'm back to my shea butter, but you know what, what we're talking about. So then all the ingredients, have to be combined and melted. So it takes a while um, and always stir it that it's not burning or overheating. Stir it. Stir it. Yep. See, again, I, I said words, they are not even exist. <laughs> no, you could steer a car, but stir the water or stir <laughs> the butter. <laughs> that's oil, uh. that's not water. Gee, well, now it's boiling too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'll... <laughs> I just put too much water in my double boiler, and now you see what happened. Flooding. Everywhere. It'll be okay. Oh, you had just I had it in my hands. In uh, one of the last videos, Ken was saying, "Can we not, or can you put the greens, the beautiful greens, in beautiful glasses instead of plastic?" And we talked about it, and we say we should do that. I mean, we we have everything organic now, and we offer the greens and the products in plastic. So some of the products are still in plastic, like our body wash, because it's a squeeze bottle. But as you can see, I was busy beside my normal job and I put all the greens, make new batches, and all of them are now in one ounce glass container. And they are, how do you say, color brown? Yep, dark. So Yeah, dark, so, so that the they light, don't get light damage. Exactly, the light cannot damage or you know, melting if it's too warm in your house in the winter time, it could be not, uh, yeah, in the winter time at, at the house. Here on the farmer's market, when it's the heat and the sun is coming, in this little tins we had, the risk was really, really high that it's melting and it's going back to the basic. So, as I said, I repeat it again, 100 milliliter or 100, 100 gram of horsetail oil, which you infuse on your own before, so it takes about six weeks, um, 20 gram of cocoa butter, 10 gram, gram, gram of beeswax, 20 gram of castor oil, and 60 gram of shia buddha, or however you pronounce it. Um, and then you have this beautiful cream to make you look younger. So maybe you are going around then and they say, oh, you look like 25. No, I'm 60. Oh, what are you using? <laughs> and then you can say, here, here, I made this cream on my own. So and of course, saying, if you're 25, you look like 14. Oops. Well, then you have to show your passport when you go to the grocery store and you want to buy a, a good bottle of wine or whatever for your dinner. And then you have to show your ID because you look so so, so young because of this beautiful cream or salve um, with hostel, as I said, has a high fat content and is absorbing more slowly than a lotion. So a lotion would be, if I would make a lotion out of it, it would be too moistery and it was slipping around more or less. And with the cream, it's a little bit harder, it's better constant. Con content, content. But <laughs> would it be the best time to put it on at nighttime before you go to bed? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you want to really put, put a good amount in your face, I mean, it's not just for your face. You can use it at your on your arms or when the hands are getting kind of looking older <laughs> than you feel, um, you can use it everywhere in your face in your on your arms on your body um on your hands for example if you are working outside or it's it's starting getting extremely dry and looking old you can use it as well i would take it before you go to bed and put really a nice amount wherever you think your wrinkles should be go away <laughs> um then go ahead and put a bigger amount on it but normally i would say yeah before you go in bed into bed and in the morning, after you take a shower for, for the day, 
um, just put it wherever you want to put it, but I would say in your face. All right. So. And now, of course, you can't wear makeup on top of it. Well, yeah, but it has to suck, soak in because if right. it's if it's really giving you the shiny, nice looking face and you put some powder on it, tick, 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 then it looks like you have pimples or whatever. <laughs> so, little. It may start peeling off. <laughs> Uh, I'm not using makeup, I don't know, so why are you asking me this? Did you ever see me in makeup? No. <laughs> so, here we are. Let me switch it off. It, it's completely liquid and combined and now we have to fill it in this container or whatever. If you have a bigger container at home, you can use whatever you have at home and you prefer. So, and then just go ahead and fill it in the jar. These are one ounce jars. We also have two ounce jars. And if you really said this is too much hassle, I want to go ahead and buy it. Um, you're more than welcome. And if you want a bigger amount, we can make two ounce or even bigger, whatever you, your needs are, I want to say. And you can always check out our website. I'm not done yet. <laughs> and of course you need to label it. Even if you make it on for your own bathroom, you need to know what are you making. Um, so I always make myself labels and the label will be just take the label off and put it on the lid, 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 lid. And today I'm talking whatever. So or scale and see, and then these jars, they have a special closing on top to seal it. And then you put the lid on, but it needs to cool down. So right now it's, it's too hot. If you are interested how hot it is, we can check this. Right now it's 125, so it's too hard to close it now. Um, yeah, what did you say, Ken? You have to come here. <laughs> <laughs> you starting talking. What, this one is extremely full. Yep, that's gonna da -da. That's gonna cause some problems. Da -da. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't fill it up like this. This nope. is far yep. too full. But again, too, if you have like a, what they call a jelly jar or mason jar that you can keep in the dark and you wanna make yourself a big jar of it, We'll just make this recipe as is. Instead of one ounce, you can make one, two, three, four, five. So this would be five ounce altogether. So you can put the five ounce in a jelly jar or something like that. Yeah, I mean, there is nothing that you said, uh, yeah, is there some kind of a shelf life? No. Normally the creams can really, if you keep them not in the poor sunshine or you put it in your bathroom, you can hold it up for two years. So that's not that it's getting... At least two years. Yeah. yeah, it's not getting bad or starting stinking or whatever. So it is the only smell you have here is from the horsetail and the olive oil. Otherwise, when you remember, there is no other essential oil or anything in it. I mean, you could if you want or you prefer um, a special smell, what you like when you put the cream on. You can, anytime you can put some um, essential oil in it, well, lavender or even horsetail essential oil you can get. Um, but remember, organic. Organic, <laughs> organic not nothing else. We explained in a video or past video to the difference between organic and natural. Yeah. Not all with natural. You can put on the words natural almost in anything, but not organic. What we have is organic. And there's a big difference. Check that video out for us. Yeah, I don't remember the title, but a couple videos back could be the body lotion or the hand. One of our last videos, lotion. we yeah. we short explained the bit uh, the difference between nature and uh, non natural, natural and, and organic. organic. So a short version is natural is you can um, it's on the label written everything is natural and so. But by the end of the day, you don't know what the cow was eating on the farm or what the sheep was eating. Was this grass or, pesticide or how it was produced? Yeah, it could have been chemically moderated. And it's still OK for um, the FDA or FDA, FDA, yeah, FDR, yeah. Uh, to call this product then natural. Ours is organic. So, you know, exactly our chicken, uh, they are not eating any grass or anything which is yeah sprayed with anything. But the same with our fertilizer. So we do not. And if we have a harvest that we've seen got eaten up from all the bugs, well, we look for something organic to keep the bugs away, to move them away. And if that doesn't work, well, guess what? Then that harvest wasn't good this year. That's okay. But we'll make it good for next year. And then that we have something organic to keep those critters away. For us, it's very important to keep everything organic. Our fertilizer, everything too. There is no chemicals extra put in there. No. All just pipe it up or something. Uh -huh. We don't do that. There's no need for it either. 
organic fertilizer you can make yourself. But you are not a doctor. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I am um, your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor and I cannot and I will not or we cannot and we will not give you any medical advice. This is skincare, but still um, for our own protection, we have to repeat ourselves. And beside this, don't forget to like and subscribe or the other way around. Like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> to our YouTube channel and click the bell or whatever it's called yep. and you will automatically it popping up on your screen that hey Uten can they have a new video let's look at it right. and have so some fun. You, so when you click subscribe a little window opens up and it asks you for certain or for all and that's where you can click all and then you'll get a notification every week when we put out a new video up on your right hand corner by YouTube. I think it's on the phone that way too or it's down in the corner on the phone but I, that's I don't how know. that works. I yeah, don't know. that's how that works. But that's what I'm doing when I'm interested in one of the channels I'm following. I always click the bell so it's popping up when there's a new video and you don't have to search. Um, is there a new one? Or That's the same with us. Leave us your comments. Let us know how you liked it or didn't yeah. like it. We're okay with that too. Absolutely, yes. If you have a better idea, let us know. We'll see if it's possible. But just remember, we keep things organic. That is so important. Not everything you can make organically there's so much products out there they have made from pharma pharmaceutical that are chemically made and we don't do that we're not going to do that we don't want to do it and we never did so no. uh, you heard it more than once that everything is organic right right organic which is important <laughs> so you all have a good week yeah a week and we see us maybe later on at the farmer's mark where you can um Every Saturday. Bye, from, if you want to. From 8 to noon. At the Milano's here. Um, in Plattsmith, Nebraska. Yeah, the Milano's restaurant just across from Heidi. And we will have later this month, we're going to a show, aren't we? Do we, we have, that, what, what do we have now? It's September. Octo October, Mystic oh, Fest. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Mystic Fest in October. And Mystic then, Fest and Council Bluff is coming up. We'll and, put more information out there as it comes. And November is our last big show, which is in Des Moines. I know it's a little bit far far away from here, but may, maybe you so, to you. so happy with us. You want to see us live? <laughs> I mean, live, live, right? Um, yeah, and then it started everything getting colder, winter and whatever. But another thing is coming and our greenhouse is completely done. Here, he did it on his own. I was working, he really did it on his own. And yeah, now we are starting to put stuff from the uh, white greenhouse we have over there because it's too full. We transfer it to the new greenhouse. So uh, yeah, we are working and doing before it's getting too cold because we know here in Nebraska, we have summer and then boom, snow. Oops. So stay <laughs> tuned, please, everybody. Yeah. And other than that. Love and light. Love and light to y'all. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.